side of the the uh, Russ Meyer show, and all these people are being turned away. It's completely sold out. The house is full, and these people are all just waiting for something. Yeah, yeah, I 
Second City gets along somehow without you. I don't know.
in many cases, this will be the only time you're going to have an opportunity to see those films. I'd also like to publicly thank Roger Ebert for his support for preservation and particularly that program that recently was done about Martin Scorsese and Spielberg and Lucas and their involvement with the, with the cause of preservation. Uh, we need that kind of support. I also worked this room as a teacher, and for a number of years, one of the high points of the courses that I gave was a screening of Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. And the course was dealing with films that were commercial, that were intended for a general audience, but that took risks, that broke boundaries, that did something different, that dared to, in, in some sense, be provocative. And the aim of a course like that, of course, is to inspire filmmakers who sometimes now want to be a little more conventional than they ought to be, to take those risks as well. 10, 15 years later, academic critics discovered postmodernism, postmodernist irony, pastiche, all kinds of other fancy things. And way back then, when, Russ Meyer was already doing it. So let's take a look at the film. But I'd like to introduce some of the people who are here. I, I'd like to present a critic who takes risks, steps over the boundaries, dares to provoke Michael Dare, who is right, now writing for Billboard, has written for LA Weekly. Uh, parent. Uh, Michael, would you come here and say a few words and maybe introduce some of our hosts, some of our people? Thanks. Well, thank you all for coming to this. I, I can't possibly explain why this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, there's almost no excuse for it. It's, uh, I can't say it's the best movie ever made, but I can honestly say it's one of my favorites. I, I sort of feel that for the Los Angeles Film Critics Association to pay tribute to this film is sort of like the National Wine Critics Association paying tribute to Boone's Farm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm very proud to present it and enjoy ourselves. Please stick around afterwards and uh, the people who made the movie can explain themselves.